Hey, what's up guys? It's Josh here and uh, welcome back. Uh, now this is a series that I actually haven't done in quite some time, but uh, I'm gonna get back into it. So um, what this is, is quick tip of the week. So um, this should be maybe about a two minute video of something that's really small and really quick, but can make a big difference in your projects. All right, so what we're gonna do today is we're actually gonna, t I'm gonna teach you how to blur something. Now this is a really nice effect that can make your projects look um, uh, a lot better. So, um, wh what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna take this render right here, and we're gonna blur him out, and then we're just gonna just uh, erase a little bit around his face just to make it look a little, just to have a really nice effect. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna select the render layer, make sure it's a PNG so it's like a transparent background. Um, then you're gonna do Control J. Or if you don't want to do that, you can just right click on the layer and the do duplicate layer. Okay. So next, make sure that the copied layer is on top. So you're just going to have it selected and then go to filter, blur, and then uh, box blur. Now you can see it right here of what it's doing already. But if you don't want that, you can just uncheck preview. But I prefer to have it so you can just move the box around and you can see what it is. You can see it on here too, but it's a little bit too small for me. All right, so the radius um, is pretty much how blurred out it is. So from uh, one, it's not really blurred at all. And then all the way to about 999, you can't even see what it looks like. So you can't see it on here, but over here, you can see that it's, it's not visible. All right, so we're gonna take it down. Um, what I usually use for something like this is around 10 pixels. So then um, we're going to do OK. And then you're just going to make sure that you select this layer, the top layer that you just blurred out. Take the eraser, make sure it's like a good size, and make sure that the, tra the hardness is at zero. So what you're going to do is just erase it around his face. Just make sure you get everything in his face. And you can see it's already making a really nice effect. And it makes it even better because this is such a high quality image. So just doing this will make it really, really nice and just it'll make your projects a lot, looking a lot better. All right, so you can see like all over his face, you can see it really clearly, but then all around here, it's really blurry and everything. So that's the effect that I just showed you. Um, I hope you like it. Guys, if you do, please leave a like, uh, please comment, and please do subscribe. Thanks, and I'll see you later.